I'm sitting down in this video. I'm hoping you're going to be sitting down. This is a Kool-Aid, but it's going to take you a while to actually make it. I don't even wear this much color. Whoever you make this lay for, they better appreciate it. Hi, my name is Ray Pahar and welcome to Get Crafty Crafty. Today, we're making our second lay project, Crate Paper Lays. And this is a really cool, unique kind of lay that you could give to your graduate or make on any other occasion. Uh, I'm actually sitting down today because this project is actually going to take a while, uh, even though it's a really fast tutorial. Um, let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include crepe paper streamers, sewing thread or string, some sewing needles. If you don't feel comfortable using a pointed needle, you can use the blunt sewing needles for this project. Remember, safety first, don't touch the tip of the needles. And some scissors. First, you're gonna thread your needle. You wanna have enough string on your needle so that it goes around your neck and then meets at your belly button. Once you have that, go ahead and cut your string, make a thick knot at the end of your thread so that your crepe paper won't slip off when you're making your lay. To start your lay, you're going to take your crepe paper and you're going to place them right on top of each other. You're going to then start sewing it by just going over and under, in and out, on your lay. You want to have the distance of each in and out point probably the size of the tip of your finger. Go over and under and keep doing this until you have a accordion of crepe paper on your needle. Once you have an accordion of crepe paper on your needle, you're going to gently pull it down onto your thread. Pull this to the end of your string and gently start twirling it in a clockwise motion. Repeat the same process over and over until you have your entire string filled with the crepe paper lay. After threading a good amount of the crepe paper, you'll start to see your lay form. Go ahead and continue to twist the end of your lay in a clockwise motion to create a spiral. To make sure that everything starts to form and twist, gently push it down and continue to twist. Like I said, it's going to take a while, but once you get a good amount of it in, you'll start to see your lay form. This is me about 20-30 minutes into this project and it's starting to uh, actually look pretty good. Once you've threaded enough of your crepe paper, go ahead and cut the crepe paper off. And to end it, you're going to take your needle and you're just going to reattach it to the start point of your lay. Thread it up and then make another knot to seal your lay. Once you've completed your lay, uh, this would make a great, unique graduation gift. Whoever you do decide to give this to, make sure they know how much time you put into this. Uh, with this lay, it took me about 40 minutes to actually put this whole thing together between threading and then twisting, threading, and then twisting again. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't take you guys longer than 40 minutes. Thanks for watching Get Crafty Crafty. Uh, come back next time to see our next lay video. Check out our past two videos, how to make duct tape wallets and how to make a candy lay. Follow us on Facebook and Pinterest and follow me on Twitter at Ray Bar. Thanks for watching and come back next week. Is it a problem that 
My shirt says original gangster and that I'm only noticing this now after having this shirt for like three years.